Hello financial investors and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to go over a viewer and subscriber question. We're going to go over how to invest on the Merrill Edge platform, either within a Roth IRA or an IRA or a taxable account. I did have a comment left in the past video. Comments up on the screen now from Melody. She asked, you know, that she watched one of my videos and she's looking to begin investing and buying and selling stocks on the Merrill platform. She recently opened a Roth IRA and she is beginning to get started and ready to invest. So it's really great to have other investors begin investing, beginning their investing journey. You know, I think it's always important to begin as soon as possible. That way you have the most time in the market, which will really help you out in the long run regardless of any mistakes you make in the short term over the long term just that extra time is going to really benefit you in the end so that is what we're going to be answering in today's video we're going to go over into the platform we're going to go over the web interface how to buy and sell stocks over the web interface and then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the application on your phone on your mobile device so that is what we're going to be doing in today's video if you are brand new to my channel have not yet subscribed go down below hit the red bell hot hit the red button to subscribe to the channel hit the bell to be notified every time we release a new video which is generally every monday saturday and sometime in the middle of the week and if you have any comments or suggestions over video topics you'd like to see in the future or stocks covered let me know down in the comment section below i always appreciate all feedback and i do read and reply to all your comments and let's go ahead and get into the video so if you have a Merrill Wedge account uh, you can go ahead and begin log it in. But otherwise, if you don't have one, you can follow this along and just pretend that you've made an account. We're going to go through every website that you would go anyways. So it could just be fun to kind of take a look at how the platform, what information is shown on this platform. So here case, I would log in by entering my username and password. Now, depending on what dashboard you want to go. So you have the option here to select different dashboards but in general i just leave it for my account so it's going to log me in and it's going to give me some information as far as the daily stuff you know i can see the dow nasdaq s p 500 and the 10-year yield up at the top you know what is going on as far as the markets are going i can also see my account data how much my current value is at, my daily change for the day and percentage wise and then it goes down into my accounts that's not too important what's important up uh, is up at the top there's a little search area a little magnifying glass so in in here you're going to go ahead and enter a stock a etf or a mutual fund and it's going to give you a couple options so in this case i entered splv and i had a couple different options for you know Arab looks like maybe Denmark and a few others and I just went ahead and selected the first one because that's the United States one and I selected it now from this portion it's going to give you a very brief informational view of this specific stock or ETF and such so on the left hand side it's going to tell you that it's the Investigos S&P 500 low volatility fund it was recently trading at $54.26 here it's going to show you a little bit of data you can look at the day week month year or look at more charts then you're going to have some more security information what was its previous close its previous high you know what how much volume it had over 2 million shares of this stock bought and sold and it shows you also its 52 week range so its low is $38 per share whereas its high is $62 so from its high it almost got cut in half but you can see here that it's almost made its way back it's about in between right now. Not quite the lows, not quite at the highs. It's right there in between. It does pay out 10 cents every single month. This is a monthly paying ETF. So every month, depending on how many shares you hold, you'll get paid out 10 cents per share. And it pays out every single month over the next 12 months. And it currently offers a 2.44% starting yield, which is really nice you know, for an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. And it's going ex dividend here on the 24th of August. So depending on how many shares you're holding up this one, you know, this one will pay you a dollar, uh, uh, 0.1036 per share. And then it gives you your current positions. I have about 155 shares of this one or a little over $8,000 of this specific ETF. So once you've decided that this is the one you want to buy, next you'll go ahead and select trade. Now within your trading window, you're going to have a couple different options here. I kind of uh, took screenshots and 
the drop downs of each one. So in this case, you can go ahead and select which account you want to buy or sell from. And in this case, I want to buy within the Roth IRA. So depending on which account you want to buy or sell from, you'd select it here. Now you have, this is your option where you can select buy or sell. So basically the exact same thing here. Once you know one, you kind of know the other. And in this case, we're buying, but we can choose to sell. And if you don't want to sell all your positions, you would just go with the standard sell. But if you're looking to get out of that one completely, you would select sell all and it would automatically populate all your shares that you want to have that you have that way you can just kind of sell them all in this case i went by i want to buy five of them i want to go with a limit you know maybe tomorrow regardless i don't want to buy it higher than it's at. so i'm going to go ahead and select limit if i select market if tomorrow the market goes high it's up two percent you know say this is 55 56 dollars it'll buy it at 55 or 56 dollars but if i select the limit here this is specifically setting it at this price i will not buy it higher than this price if tomorrow it opens up at 58 dollars, i'm just going to go ahead and wait i'll wait for the pullback and buy it at 54 dollars and 26 cents now here i can set the duration do i want it just for today or do i want it for a while I think it's 90 days for the GTC option. Now we're gonna go ahead and preview our order. Here is basically just gonna give us our order as far as you know uh, the information, how many positions you currently have, and you basically just submit. That's all it is here, it's just a little pop-up. You're gonna just submit it. You reviewed what you're buying and you hit submit. It's gonna basically tell you, thank you, your order has been successfully submitted. And here is the history, your summary of what you've ordered. Here, for example, I only entered one share. So I purchased, or I'm going to be estimated a buying it at $54.26 within my Roth IRA. I submitted it about 2.45 in the morning, so it should be active for the next day. And it's a duration, it's only active for one day, and then that order will go away. It won't be there any longer. And then my limit price that I set there was $54.26. So I can or I can view the order status there if I wanted to. And that would basically just kind of check, has that been, has the action been completed? You know, has it been done it or so? So that is basically the web way. So that is how to buy and sell stocks on the web interface. Now, as you see out here, we're going into the mobile interface, how to buy and sell stocks on the mobile interface. Now we're going left to right here. So as you log on to your application on your, fi on your phone, your iPhone, your, your Android, uh, on the left hand side, you're just gonna just kind of give you your little, your name, you know, whatever nickname you wanna have in there, how much your portfolio is currently at in that, on that account and then down towards the bottom this doesn't change regardless of if you're scrolling up or down you're going to go ahead and just select uh, trade so once you've selected trade it's going to go into the next option here in the middle you're going to have to select stocks and etfs options or mutual funds in this case i left it at stocks and etfs you want to do it in regular hours from i believe the market's open from 9 to 4 30 on the east east coast i know here on the west coast it's it closes at one in the afternoon and it opens at i believe six in the morning I, i've never woken up that early to buy and sell stocks <laughs> and then you could uh do the extended hours which is after the market closes it goes into the extended hours and there's some pre-market hours but i don't think that is included in there possibly i never use that option i just go with the regular hours and then here you have the option of selecting which account it could be taxable or retirement account in this case i went with the same thing the roth ira select your action this is where you would select either buy or sell so here everything you've kind of done right here is all the same it's up until you get to your action portion here that you'll have the option of buying selling or selling all so in this case we're going to go ahead and set it as buy and next you're going to go ahead and click on the symbol area here and then you're going to start looking for what you want to buy or sell or you know an etf or mutual fund you know depending on your options that you select back here and in this case i went ahead and punched in splv once again it pulled up that same information as it did on the web interface it was 54 dollars and 26 cents and it kind of gives you all the information the day range the day volume my SPLV holdings within this account looks like it's about a th 21 shares there. Uh, I put in one share that I want to buy. So up as you're scrolling down, you kind of just flip down a little bit and you punch in how many shares you want to buy of this specific ETF. I put in one share. What's my order type? In this case, I didn't care about the limit. I just went with the market. I want to own it now, regardless if it's up or down. I'm going to own it for the long term. So I want to go ahead and just go with a market buy and 
duration, I'm gonna have it for a single day. Now, this is just kind of confirming that once you hit the preview order, it's gonna jump over into, please confirm your order details and you know making sure that you're buying within the correct account. I wanted to buy within the Roth IRA. I want to buy, make sure it's a buy and not a sell. Select your symbol. It's gonna give you a little bit of a, a brief summary of like what you're buying and the quality here. And then you just kind of check it all. And then you'll basically just kind of submit your order. And that's it on the mobile device. That's basically how to do it. That's the very last thing there. So overall, really easy platform, either going through the web interface or on their mobile device, you know, it's maybe a couple more options, but it's really only two or three pages to kind of go through. You're basically just kind of searching for your stock ETF or mutual fund that you want to buy. Then you're just putting in how many shares, what the account is, is it a market or a limit uh, order type and what the duration is. And you're just kind of buying and selling right there, training. And that's basically how to get it done and start investing. So that is basically it for today's video. Hopefully it was pretty well. If you guys are interested, again, just kind of, if you guys had any issues with any steps there, let me know down in the comment section below. But I believe it was pretty straightforward as far as, you know, getting information. Merrill Edges actually has a ton of information. You know, this is just a quick summary, but you can actually go into this specific fund and read all about its history. You could even do some deeper research on it, and it gives you much more information in the background. It gives you reports that you're able to download and kind of read through and goes over. You know, it has even more reports for single uh, single stocks as well. So if you're researching a single stock, it has a ton of information. You can see the whole story with that stock or ETF, who were its competitors, uh, how are they sorted by market cap? Who, who, who's the current CEO? It has tons of information. I know I've covered it in another video, but kind of want to go over it just really quickly once again. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, again, let me know down in the comment section below that it was enjoyable. If you have not yet subscribed, definitely go down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified every time we put out a new video. And give this video a thumbs up. That is it. Thank you all for tuning in. If you have any other comments or questions, would like to see some other videos in the future, drop them down in the comment section below. Hope this helped you out, Melody, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.